What is up YouTube? It is Matty and today we've got a special guest with us and that is my son Ben. Say hi Ben. No Ben's not gonna say hi because uh, he can't talk on demand yet but he will be featured throughout this video and today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I do my recordings so that's the it's I suppose it's a three-step process number one you connect your phone to your laptop or computer uh, number two, <laughs> number two, you record your screen. Number three, you edit the videos. So I'm going to do a very quick overview uh, and mainly focus on how to get the connection between the laptop and your iPhone, uh, your phone. So firstly, it's, this is for the iPhone only. Um, I know there is a way to synchronise the Android as well in a similar manner, but the only sort of phone I've got is an iPhone, so that's all I'm going to be able to show you um, today. And firstly, what's important to know is. That is my son Ben on the screen, by the way. Um, there's a couple of requirements. You need a laptop, because um, most laptops come with built-in wireless anyway, or a PC that's got either a wireless card, um, like a PCI card, or a USB dongle that, for wireless as well. Um, secondly, you need a really strong wireless connection, because basically both your phone and your computer need to be on the same wireless network and have a strong connection between each other to make sure they can communicate and you can you can sync them up together and there's a couple of applications you're going to need reflector now reflector is what you install on the laptop or computer um, and it sort of runs through the wireless and allows your iPhone to connect to it and Camtasia again it's installed on the laptop so really you don't need to install anything on the iPhone at all um, so the Camtasia is to record the screen and then it's used to edit the videos as well so it's a sort of multi-pronged if you're getting more in depth into editing, you might want to complement it with some other sort of software like Adobe After Effects, Sony Vegas, that sort of thing. Um, but in future videos, I'll get into more detail with that. Um, I've got an iPhone 4S, by the way. I know it works with the 5S as well, and um, models are thereabouts. If you've got an iPhone 1, 2, or 3, I'm not 100% sure, or it might work in a slightly different way. So, firstly, let's figure out. Um, well, the software is Reflector and Camtasia. Reflector you can get offline. I think you need version 1.3.3 or 1.3.2. I'll put the link in the description because the later ver it, and that allows you 10 minutes of free. Oh, Ben's passing me my M&M &M peanuts. So that gives you 10 minutes of free recording, and then it, it sort of automatically stops the connection between the uh, laptop and the phone. Or you can pay about $10 or about £6 to have the full version so it's unlimited recording. Or you could do, well, you could acquire it through other methods which I can't really talk about. Camtasia is a similar sort of thing. You can, you have to buy it. Um, or, well, yeah, I think that's the only real option with Camtasia. Unfortunately, you have to buy it. Ben's not very happy. Here, have these. Oh. Sorry about this, guys. But when Ben's not happy, no one's happy. Here's his big giraffe. Pass this to mommy. Done. Okay. So here we go, you guys. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to sort of. Once you've got reflector and Camtasia installed, that's step one for you. Step two is actually using them. So first thing you're gonna want to do is double-click reflector. If you're on the trial version, you'll have to just click um, run trial. If you've got the full version. It's already running. You can see it down in my notification area here. And I, if I want to exit Reflector, I'll right click and click exit there. I can bring up the preferences for you. And it's as simple as that. I have it for optimized for 1280 by 720. Oh, Ben. Why are you so sad? And I have it for, well, it's just pretty much basic, really. It's uh, no real settings. Yeah, now, now that Reflector's running, what I do on my iPhone. Um, on the latest iOS version, which I think is 6, might be iOS 7, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> God, I'm so bad. Um, it's iOS 7. You flick up from the bottom of the screen to the top, and it should bring up a little option called AirPlay, and you select the computer. So what I'm going to do now is do that on my phone, and we'll uh, connect up to the screen. Here we go, you guys. We've connected our iPhone to the screen now. Just to recap, I'll show you how we do it. We scroll up from the top to the bottom of the screen. You sort of drag this menu up. I think on previous iPhone versions, you drag to the left of the screen uh, from left to right and to get, take you into this same sort of area. And in this area, you 
click on the, it'll say AirPlay there, you click on it, select the computer, which is your computer name, and you click the little mirroring button there, um, over to mirroring. So then you're seeing, you've got your iPhone going on the screen, which is amazing. So next stage, if I, as an example, if I was going to record Clash of Clans, I'll go into my app, you can see it's mirroring um, word for word or, or mo motion for motion. You can turn through Camtasia as well. So now, uh, I'll, I'll get to that bit in a second. So next step, open up Camtasia and you click record screen up here. Now that record screen is going to bring up a little sub menu and you th I think you can choose to, I'll show you here, you can choose to click go on full screen version or you can choose to record a section of the screen. When I'm doing Clash of Clans, I record a section and I'll show you why because when I right click on here and go enter full screen which is this is where what my screen normally looks like whenever I'm recording the area of record for me is only going to be around this area okay now I do have a blue mic a blue microphone it's a blue snowball so I had to go into options and select uh, the blue snowball in there Ideally, when you're recording, you want this bit minimized, so it, that's for the screen. And you can just go and start showing your raids or doing the commentary however you wish. So once you've done that, what you do is you click, let's say you finished your video, you go onto here and you click stop, and that's going to save your video file. Now through Camtasia, it actually saves all your video files in a .camrec recording. So if I show you what I mean, I'll go into Raid of the Week. And the latest one and you can see they're all dot camrec so what that means is when you go in into Camtasia only Camtasia can recognize dot camrec files as far as I'm aware that you then copy them in and then you can edit them so just show you what I mean bum 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 I'll go back into the raid of the week bum bum if I select all of those click open what that's going to do is import them into a live project for me within Camtasia and then I can drag these into my timeline play them put audio on or do live audio recording which is what I normally do anyway let's have a look choose 12 8 by 720 bring it over and normally I have to do this as well make sure that it's full screen and that's it. Normally I will sort of go to the start of the video, like the start of the raid, as an example like that in the cloud screen, and drag the video, it'll snap in there, send it over the timeline. But, but I'm not here to show you how to edit today. Today was simply to show you how to, uh, what applications you're going to need and how you use them to record videos. So just to recap, you get Reflector have it running on your laptop, go onto your iPhone, establish the connection so that it's mirrored and then bring it full screen like I've done now and just to, to show you again once you right click within the screen area and click it, enter full screen or exit full screen that's how you go in and out of it and once it's in that sort of mode you bring up your um, op, you click the record the screen button within Camtasia bring up this little sub menu and you all you have to do is click record um, make sure it's got the right you got the right area of screen to record to recover them um, to record sorry I'll probably do a practice run first before you start doing major YouTube videos but I just wanted to show you the applications I use and probably one of the next videos I'll be doing is going to be how to edit how to sort of manipulate files within Camtasia and go more in depth into that and Ben is uh, just saying bye bye uh, bye in his own little way He's uh, running around the room. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this is of a help. If this is the sort of stuff you're interested in and you really do want to know how to do this moving forwards and, and for me to go deeper into how I edit my intros, how I edit, make backgrounds, and how I, in fact, my whole process of YouTubing, I can do that for you. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in a bit.